Hey guys, what's up? Doing another video. Today I'll be discussing backwards compatibility. Now, backwards compatibility became or started becoming a big deal when they released the PS2. The PS2 had the ability to play original PlayStation 1 games. And it was a really smart move on Sony's part because it was a bit of a selling point for the PS2. Um, already people having large libraries of PS1 games, they can, you know, play those games on there. And then uh, came along the PS3. The PS3 had the ability to play PS1 and PS2 games. Though, as time went on, the quality of the emulation on the PS3 started to sort of diminish. The 80 gigabyte PS3s didn't quite play the PS2 games as well. They had all sorts of like crazy glitches and stuff and the frame rates were really bad. And then eventually they did away with uh, PS2 backwards compatibility altogether on the PS3. They still had the ability to play PS1 games, but that was pretty much it. Then we also saw backwards compatibility with the Xbox 360, though it was a limited backwards compatibility. The Wii saw backwards compatibility being able to play original GameCube games. And then the Wii U had the ability to, or backwards compatibility to play original Wii games. Then we get to the PS4 and can't do it. The Xbox One was kind of the same deal and currently with the Switch, it it's a completely different platform using those little tiny cards, no disc based uh, deal. Now the reason backwards compatibility doesn't or isn't on the PS4 is because of the architecture of the PS3 it was very complicated for developers to make games for it in the first place. Trying to emulate it is just even more crazy and just impossible. Xbox One, on the other hand, they have been gradually adding more and more Xbox 360 titles, though it's kind of been a long process over time. And recently they even started adding original Xbox games to that list. However, how you go about doing it, the process is kind of... It's not perfect. Basically, you have to put the disc in and then you gotta be connected to the internet and then it's gotta download the game but it's not perfect because you can also like you have to go to like one of their websites and uh, leave comments or suggestions on games you want to see made backwards compatible and if it gets enough votes they'll consider it or they'll go and ask the developer if they can have permission to do so which I wish Microsoft never said that because basically it goes and uh, allows them to, or developers to like just do a HD re-release or an HD remaster instead of uh, having the game put onto like a, the backwards compatibility list it's not perfect 
Now, there are some games that do have an HD uh, re-release, but they also have the uh, the ability to be played on the Xbox One backwards compatibility. But the process of how you do it, having to vote and get people to vote and all that stuff, it, it's not perfect. It sucks. But I would love to see them make an attempt at doing it on the PS4 but for backwards compatible but I highly doubt it and it's kind of funny the Sony was the one who sort of pioneered backwards compatibility and now they're kind of doing away with it while on the other hand we have Microsoft that's still keeping it going Though it's not, it's not perfect, but at least they're putting in the effort to do so. Which now brings up the question, what's the deal going to be for future generations, the next generation of consoles? Because there's a lot of talk that uh, disc-based formats are going to be pretty much gone. They're going to stop making everything well they're just gonna make everything digital pretty much basically the next Xbox and the next PS4 or PS5 would basically become like a steam box where you just download the games so in a sense backwards compatibility would also be done away with as well Though you would be able to download the games, it wouldn't really be backwards compatibility. It's more like just some form of emulation. And you're just downloading them onto like a box that you can play it on. Hopefully that made sense, but uh... It just seems like something that's just being done away with like real slowly. And since we're on the topic of backwards compatibility, it seems the list of um, uh, backwards compatibility titles for Xbox One seems to have come to a halt. They haven't like updated it in a month. Now, of course, I can make this video and like in the next day or two, they could update it or whatever, but I just haven't seen them adding anything new to it. But, yeah. Um, there was something else I was going to say. What was it? Oh, well, I can't remember it. Anyway, uh, what are your thoughts on backwards compatibility? Like, do you think it's something that's going to be completely done with? Will they figure out ways to fix it, maybe? What do you think? Love to hear your thoughts. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to leave a like. And be sure to subscribe. See you guys later. I'm out.